So who here likes to be happy? Well, I'm sure everyone does. So I'm going to show you a three-step process of how to achieve your own happiness through the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. Now, the overview is the, of the movie. This movie is about Chris Gardner, who is a struggling salesman selling uh, this medical device called a bone density scanner. He uh, bought a bunch of them when they were first invented, and he you, he sold them uh, kind of door to door to different doctors. That was his job, but he struggled with it very much. And it's about his uh, his the process of his life going through extensive uh, like hardships, but despite all of it, still becoming a successful stockbroker, which was his initial dream. Uh, from this movie, you can learn. You learn a lot. Uh, it teaches you how much parent, like a parent, goes through in order to, like how much they've sacrificed in order to provide for their children. Uh, it teaches you the amount of hard work that is required to be successful in life, and it teaches you to never give up. So, I would urge you to watch it because not only is it, is it inspiring and touching, but you will learn a lot from it. Now step one for your road to happiness is to persevere. Now in life, there are going to be many obstacles. There are going to be many things that maybe make it harder to feel happy, but this movie kind of teaches you that you just have to fight through it. There's gonna be hard moments, but for all of those hard moments, there's gonna be a great moment as well. And you just have to understand that no matter how dark, how dark the moment, in life, it is going to get better. But in order to do that, you have to persevere. Now, in this movie, he is constantly struggling with taking care of his child uh, while also selling these bone density scanners. He goes through homelessness. He loses his wife. He loses his he loses everything pretty much. Um, his house, his home, and his son is someone that helps keep him motivated. He does every, everything that he does is not only for himself, but it's for his son as well. So that is Chris Gardner's reason to persevere. Now, step two in your, pro in your process to happiness is to understand. Now you must understand that happiness is not, happiness is a journey, a journey. it's not a destination. So it's not something that <coughs> comes easily, you have to, work hard, you have to persevere, and you have to have the understanding that it can be fleeting, but it is a journey to get to it. Um, it's not just something you, that comes easily. And he faces a very hard journey. There's one scene, and this is based off a true story, uh, where he's, he lost everything. He doesn't even have money to stay in a motel, so they end up having to stay in this, uh, train station bathroom and it's a very hard moment because you can see how much it hurts him to have to be homeless with his son he's he wants to be able to provide to be a great father but he can't do that and so it's a very hard scene but you can also see that uh there are hard moments but there also are happy moments and he does his best to look for those and when he does get those moments he holds them close now, step three is to dream. And so, step three is to dream. And this is like one of my favorite clips from the movie that kind of helps to uh, inspire. Our starter, he, he says that he's gonna go pro. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know, you know, uh, it'd probably be about as good as I was. That's kind of the way it works, you know, and I, I, I was below average. So, so you're probably all three. <laughs>
Okay, so as you can see in uh, in this clip, you can see the internal battle that he faces with telling his son at first, like, hey, you're, if you're my son, I wasn't good at basketball, so uh, automatically you're not going to be good either, so don't waste your time. Uh, now, in this scene, it was his birthday, and that was his birthday present, and his son had a passion for basketball, as you can see. Uh, now, that, this, what I took from this is that um, when you have a dream, like you said, there are going to be people, if, and if they're unable to achieve that dream, then they are going to tell you that uh, it's not possible because for them it wasn't possible. But just because it's not possible for one person doesn't mean it's not possible for you. And that's why it's the third step of your pursuit of happiness is because you have to protect your dreams. If you have something that you want in life, you have to be able to fight for it. And that's why, that is, achieving your dream is something that will bring you a lot of happiness. Um, so in conclusion, I urge you all to take example from Chris Gardner's life to understand that uh, no matter what life throws at you, there is a way to find happiness. He, he worked really hard, he sold his bone density scanners, um, and even though it wasn't very successful, he found his route, he went to a, the stock brokerage firm, and he worked harder than anyone else there. And Chris Gardner now is a very, very wealthy stock broker. He's still around today, and his story is something that inspires many. So I urge you to learn from him in order to achieve your own pursuit of happiness. And those are my